Hi there gamers, welcome to MGL Mix video with me Respawn Moscow on Monday the 12th of October. Um, it's very very good to be back with you doing this, we missed it last week to cover all the EGX stuff but we're looking back on some really really cool interesting news that's been going on. There's loads of other stuff on mygameslounge.com today as well. We've got the indie games update with some really really cool indie games to talk about including Sub Level Zero that launched last week and is outstanding with a lot of potential too. Um, we've got Respawn Rants with myself, um, quite upset at Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 5 and Afro Samurai 2 just for releasing games that aren't ready, that are broken. Not happy about that situation at all. Um, and then also got gaming this week which looks ahead at all the different stuff that's coming out in the next week or so for you guys and you games out there to just get yourselves and have some fun with what's, what's out on the market. Um, but now I'm just going to have a quick look back at all the stuff that's been going on. Now the first bit of news we need to talk about is Star Wars Battlefront Beta. Now that, whoa. I, I did a video last week on EA at EGX and I have to say I thought they have done a fantastic job and I was I was a bit sad that they didn't bring Yanni along because if they'd done that I think I would have fallen in love with EA uh, even though my, my, uh, my normal reaction to them is something different. Um, I, I just think they had a really good showing and the Battlefront uh, demo that was at EGX was excellent. So I was very, very much looking forward to the beta. I really cool that they were doing an open one as well. So it's kind of like a, it's a multiplayer version of a demo, I guess. But it's good for them to test out the servers and things and make everything sure everything's working well. Um, and it's scheduled to end today. Um, but I think they've extended it by one day just to, to get people in. So um, I believe it may well carry on through Tuesday. Don't quote me on that one. But um, no, it's been absolutely outstanding. I've really enjoyed my time with it. Um, first of all, I like the fact that you can flick the third person if you want to, which is good for people like me that struggle in first person view. I, I'm, I'm not the best at playing games like that. So it's meant I can get a few extra kills that I might not have got. Don't worry, I do live up to my respawn um, nickname very much so. Um, I've got some nice gameplay video coming up this week so you can see why Respawn Roscoe is nicknamed Respawn. I've got a nice collection of stupid deaths just for you to enjoy. Um, I have really enjoyed Star Wars Battlefront. There's a fair few doubters. There's a lot of people out there that don't like dice. Um, and I think that's a little bit unfair. I said it before, I will say it again. I think dice are a very, very good game development studio if they're left to their own devices. If the corporate EA people come in and say dance, unfortunately they have to dance and they have to release things and yeah sometimes they're rushed out because maybe not because they want to make a bad game I'm not sure it's their developers that are at fault I think maybe it's the corporate side and hopefully the corporate side of EA are actually learning a few lessons they seem to be trying to at least on the surface of it they seem to be giving games more development time being a bit more relaxed about things being less focused on the annual stuff so hopefully Star Wars um, Battlefront continues this kind of positive vibe that we're getting from the beta. I really enjoyed it. Um, the, the mission on Hoth's cool. I loved um, when when you can get the, the the special characters come in and Skywalker and Vader come in. And that cool video with, um, with Luke Skywalker getting stomped on by the AT. It, 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 that's, that was cool. Um, but yeah, very much enjoyed my time with it. Um, I'm going to put some full impressions on mygameslounge.com at some point this week on the beta when it's when it's finished I'm guessing um, just to kind of sum it all up. Very much looking forward to the full release on that one. Um, very very good stuff. Now there was some stuff coming out of Ubisoft, another massive massive um, developer, another one that was at EGX and they were kind of like trying to tease things but often with the internet these days when you try and tease something, something just gets leaked or um, released by someone early and, and it all kind of then gets watered down but I still think the trailer for the upcoming Far Cry Primal really really looked good um, they're obviously using the Far Cry 4 engine to do this it's not like a full new release I wouldn't have thought but I do like the tone of it I like the design of it I like this kind of going back to the, the Stone Age idea going with the Far Cry kind of look it's very 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 cool um, they're developing it between a few Ubisoft um, p 
people, the Montreal people working with Trion uh, Toronto, they're working with Shanghai Studio and Kiev as well. Um, and it's going to be a, a single player experience and it's going to take you back to 10,000 BC. Um, it's like there's some really, really cool beasts and tribes that were coming at you. It was very, very interesting. I liked it. What did you think, gamers? Let us know. Tell us. Because I think that looks good. I, I, I would argue, I, I said this on um, a chat with the guys from My Games Lounge, I personally feel that Far Cry, at the moment, is the strongest kind of brand for Ubisoft. And I'm really glad that they're, they're bringing it back again for a little bit more. Um, I feel like other ones have kind of been watered down but I think Far Cry 4 was just outstanding and Far Cry 3 was outstanding for it so it seems to be the most consistent one for me at the moment obviously they're bringing back a few others um, there's rumours of a, a Prince of Persia in development which is another one of the greats um, and of course there's the new Ghost Recon coming up that looks cool so hopefully that's the sign that 2016 for Ubisoft is going to be a bit better than churning out Assassin's Creed and obviously you've got The Division coming up next year as well which is going to be cool Okay, um, Divinity Original Sin is coming to consoles with the Enhanced Edition and it's coming up on October the 27th slash 28th, depending on where you are. Uh, if you're in, in Europe on PSN, it's the 28th. I'm guessing because that's the Sony rollover on the Tuesday. Yeah, they tend to do everything on Tuesdays over here for PSN rollover stuff. So, yeah, coming out... Um, towards the end of this month or around the time of Halo 5 which is probably not the best choice in the world but if you're not into Halo uh, and you want to play a nice uh, isometric style RPG this is one to play because it's outstanding it's really really good we really liked it um, when we played the PC version uh, you get like some cool bags of tricks if you get the pre-orders on the PlayStation 4 or Xbox One version you get like um, some like backpack stuff for, for use in the game and recipes and all kinds of cool stuff and DLC packs that you could you'd have to pay for obviously separately but you, you get them included with it and there's a nice co-op trailer that they released showing off um, you know that the game modes I mean I like that game so but I'm a huge RPG person um, I'd be tempted to have a look at that on console to be honest I wasn't sure it would work but having uh, enjoyed Diablo on console for quite some time I think that one could do exactly the same thing um, speaking of cool RPGs one of the best games of 2015 period is going to be The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt and the expansion pack is coming out this week October 13th uh, I missed it um, unfortunately on gaming this week so I'm going to cover it here that was the plan all along gamers that was the plan silly me so yeah, so October 13th on the Xbox One, PlayStation 4 and PC, you can download the Hearts of Stone expansion to The Witcher 3. Um, and yeah, do I need to say any more? I mean, do you need any reason to put that game in at least once a week at the moment? It's just excellent. It's so good. Um, so yeah, looking forward to seeing that. It's over 10 hours of new adventures. Uh, you've got some new characters, powerful monsters, uh, romance, there's a new unique romance line and a brand new storyline um, and it's shaped by what you choose to do as you would expect of the game. Um, so yeah, it's really, really just a quality package. It's not just like throwaway DLC, these guys. They're calling it an expansion pack because that's what it is. It's not just like an hour um, that you've paid for here. You've paid for a good chunk of a, a game. I mean, 10 hours. I mean, the Order 1886 can only dream of 10 hours. Um, so, yeah, that's a, that's an interesting one to bring up. So, we've also had a little bit of stuff. Um, there's some DLC been announced for Tales of Sisteria, and there's also been a Call of Duty Black Ops Friday came out on YouTube. We covered that on MyGamesLounge.com. Got to be honest, I didn't have time to watch it, so I shall watch it back at some point and maybe share my thoughts on it. Um... I am looking forward to Black Ops 3. I do think Black Ops is the better kind of branding of Call of Duty. I just feel like there's a lot of first person shooters this year that might just might just take the interest away from Call of Duty for some time, particularly Battlefront um, as well as uh, Rainbow Six looking outstanding. Uh, and of course, Halo 5. I mean, Halo 5 is going to have a huge multiplayer element to it. So 
Um, Call of Duty's got some work to do to really stand out this year. Um, but yeah, that's a reflection of a look back at what's in the news. If I've missed anything, I apologise. I'm still catching up from all the stuff we've got to cover from uh, EGX, to be honest with you. But next week, more news. And if there's anything breaks during the week, you can make sure yourself get yourself on mygameslounge.com. I'll see you there. There will be absolutely tons of coverage this week. We've got lots of things going on. Reviews, news, features, interviews from EGX, you name it. Get yourself onto mygameslounge.com. I'll see you there.